What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're going to work on some turbo stuff. Uh, tie up the radiator mounts. We're going to hook up our fuel system. Uh, hook up some new cables for the starter. And a few other odds and ends. So tag along. I think we've got the uh, one side figured out and mounted and all set. I'll show you here. Radiator bracket came up pretty good. So we've got our fuel filter hooked back up and our fuel lines. You can see it there. Uh, we did run our new cables. The fuel lines in the tractor run from all the way back and they go around back to the, around the battery pretty much. And then they come back up through the filter, through my pump, and then up to the injection pump. Um, we ran all that extra line because, in my opinion, it keeps the fuel nice and cool and it keeps away from all the heat that's up here for the most part. Um, that's also why I run a bigger filter here. It cools, cools the fuel a little bit, in my opinion, as well. Wastegate, welding it shut. Not everybody likes to do that, but I'm doing it because I'm not scared. If anybody was curious what we use for our 
uh, digital gauges for our EGT and our uh, water temps. Uh, so we can see the recall on them at the end of the run. We use the uh, Auber gauges, so our Auber gauges here. Now, I wouldn't say I'd recommend them. I'm not thrilled with them, only because they're kind of difficult to use and kind of difficult to program. Um, so I'm just going to stick with these two that I have. Um, I tried the boost gauge digital wise, but I just couldn't rely on it. It wasn't reliable at all, in my opinion. So that's that. So now I have a manual boost gauge, as you saw, and a manual oil pressure gauge. So I've got EGT on that side and water temp on this side. Put our new gauges in the panel here. Still gotta, we got to put a new push button start on this. This one crapped the bed on us, so i got to switch that out still. And then that'll be fixed. So that was it for the night, guys. Uh, so now we're going to get to editing here, as you can see. So stick around. We've got some more coming. The Keystone's coming up quick. So hopefully we can get her done. Thanks, guys.